operations building it was designed using Autodesk Revit we can see not only the architectural details here but also mechanical components mounted on the roof in addition to being able to see and manipulate the model graphically we're also presented with the properties which will be required later in the life cycle for manufacture and for maintaining the asset in this case we're looking at one of the heat pumps on the roof in order to view the 3D model in Maximo we need to export the model as an Avisworks file once we've exported the model into Navisworks we can then use the Navisworks tool to manipulate the uh, information that we'll eventually see inside Maximo for example I've created a number of different sets in this case so if I wanted to remove some of the architectural information to make some of the internals of the building more accessible I can simply do that by selecting which components need to be hidden and unhidden using the selection tree here we can see the components in this case highlighted in blue these are the components we'll be following through with the rest of the scenario in addition to the 3D information we also export Kobe data the Kobe data is presented here in a spreadsheet it's a very structured format which includes information about the facilities the floors the zones the type and components now in Maximo we're particularly interested in components because that's what we're going to maintain throughout the life cycle here we can see the heat pump that we followed through from Revit and into Navisworks and now we see it in the Kobe file this Kobe file will be imported into Maximo and referenced to the Navisworks file which will also be rendered inside Maximo now inside Maximo I've imported the Kobe data and also linked to the Navisworks file I'm just going to go to my locations for completeness and find that heat pump that we followed through from uh, Revit all the way through to Maximo so there's one of the heat pumps click on the heat pump go to the view and it will bring the uh, 3D model along with the um, attribute information straight into Naxmo. What we're going to do next is follow a very brief scenario of a fault on this particular heat pump to see how we can interact both in 3D and with standard textual Maximo. So simple scenario we've got a problem with the heat pump what I'm going to do is go and raise a service request in Maximo and we're going to do this graphically so I'm going to hit the new button complain about the uh, the heat pump we've got a noisy fan we want to find out a little bit more about this we're going to go to the assets we're going to search for the heat pump we can see it's brought the heat pumps up here 2067 and 2068 I just want to make sure I'm looking at the right thing it now brings up the heat pump here inside Navisworks again just making sure we've got the right one selected you'll notice 2067 is selected here and now I've selected 2068 which is 2067 with the problem we hit return with value and that now adds this particular asset into the service request there's plenty more things we can do with this but this is a short demonstration thanks for listening